Welcome to the third module of the CQ for All training for local and regional authorities to better protect their public spaces. In the first module, you familiarize yourself with the EU City's Vulnerability Assessment Tool. You probably also identified risk in your chosen area, to which you sought security by design solutions in the second module. In this module, you'll explore what technologies can offer to address your identified problems, from CCTV cameras and drones to predictive policing, depending on your local legislation. Keeping up with new technologies might feel like a daunting, if not impossible, task. This is why we will walk you through the main tendencies, tools, and critically think of their potential to solve the problems you identified at the beginning of this training. However, obviously, neither technology nor design are panacea to security issues. While unarmed drones with cameras can be used to supplement much-needed investigations into crime, they can also, say, enable racial profiling. So technology is neither a savior nor an enemy, per se, but rather a tool. And as such, it must be navigated with extreme awareness of its effects on human rights, discrimination, and privacy. With this in mind, we will discuss the potential ethical pitfalls of technology and design solutions you will have identified. Do they comply with privacy and human rights principles? If they do not, what are the alternatives? What can be done to minimize the risks? There are no easy answers to these questions, but exploring them is what it takes for local authorities to better address the public protection without compromising on ethics. So let's dive straight into them.